Hi, I am Kevin Drong from NanoSemi. Today, I would like to demonstrate NanoSemi's ultra wideband linearizer implemented in standard Xilinx FPGA. The demo features multi carrier 100 MHz LTE advanced linearization. The test bench consists of a highly integrated RF CMOS transceiver from analog devices, which includes dual channel transmitter and 240 MHz bandwidth observation receiver. Kobo's TQP3M9035 high linearity LNA is chosen as the driver between the transceiver and the power amplifier, requiring only one single 5 volt supply. Its small signal gain is 16 dB with a noise figure of 0.5 dB, and its output 1 dB compression is around 22 dBm. Next, Quovo's QPA2705 uh, 5 watts 2 stage gallium nitride power amplifier is showcased. It has 30 dB small signal gain and it achieves a PAE of 35% operating at uh, 37 dBm average output power in a compact 6x10 millimeter surface mount package. The demo simulates the real traffic by first interrupting a normal operation in FPGA. It then compares the performance difference by enabling and disabling NanoSemi's linearizer block. We will also upload different waveforms such as LTE test model 3.1 to compare data EVM with, it, with and without linearization. The demo begins with transmitting 5 20 MHz component carriers to obtain a total transmission bandwidth of 100 MHz. At 2.6 GHz carrier frequency, the gallium nitride power amplifier operating at 5 watts has an adjacent channel leakage ratio of minus 29 dBc. As soon as we enable the linearizer, ACLR is quickly improving and dropping down to minus 51 dBc or better. We will also be playing different carrier configurations to demonstrate that we can achieve macro cell performance using a low cost integrated CMOS transceiver. Next, we are uploading a full radio frame 10 millisecond data for EVM measurement. A typical data EVM without corrections is between 5 and 6%. Since there are 5 20 MHz carriers, we will be looking at the center carrier which is located at 2.6 GHz. While the linearizer is on, data EVM improves from 5.5% to 1.9%. We are returning to the ACP mode in Spectron Analyzer. The next waveform consists of 10 5 MHz LTE carriers, uniformly spaced at 10.56 MHz apart. ACLR improves from minus 3, 33 to minus 54 dBc with corrections. Again, we are getting ready to upload the next carrier configuration. This waveform consists of 6 5 MHz LTE carriers uniformly spaced at 19 MHz apart. Again, we see that the performance greater than minus 54 dBc is maintained over various carrier configurations. In addition, NanoSemi's linearizer not only supports multi-carrier GSM, WCDMA, LTE and any combination of the above. It also supports both TDD and FDD of different configuration using one single linearizer. Last but not least, we are showing you a dual 5 MHz carriers configuration where carriers are spaced 55 MHz apart, center to center. While the linearizer is on, we can quickly achieve minus 60 dBc. 
In summary, one key benefit of NanoSemi solution is to maintain performance over rapid ramp up and ramp down. Furthermore, we optimize linearizer for output power, processor, resource, ACRR, and bandwidth. Thanks for watching the video. For more information, please visit us at www.nanosemitech.com. Thank you.